It's really a matter of moving from ruts into renewed opportunities. It's about sidestepping toxins in order to discover what's possible on the other side. Now this takes an awareness of your brain's equipment that already comes ready to engage novelty. And research on novelty is showing that's where many answers are that we've maybe been missing. Rather than concentrate on the brain's basal ganglia full of disappointments and missteps and failures and things that let you down, instead focus on creating new neural pathways in your brain toward that novel approach in just one area. Working memory will kick in when you act on or do one novel approach. You'll eliminate the mental toxins that hold you back when you do their opposite. For example, concentrate on disappointment, read that email over and over, and you will emit chemicals in your brain's chemical and electrical circuitry that hold you back and simply rewire your brain for more of the same. You eliminate toxins by doing the opposite of the problem that got you there in the first place. Let's say you sink into sadness. Maybe you feel rejected by a person at work or you felt let down by something that you deserved and didn't get. Rather than store these rejected reactions in your brain's amygdala, which are very real and which all store and stay and keep you there, or focus on the problem or the disappointment which rewired you there for the first place, instead act toward that problem person maybe as a close friend would act. That might be one way to move yourself past spinning your wheels inside the rut and storing those kind of reactions in your brain simply for more of the same. During your REM sleep that night, you'll rewire brain power for an awareness about stepping past that rut into the renewed possibilities and you'll become more ready for the novelty that actually alters your IQ and opens a new innovative possibility. Do you spin your wheels in a rut at work? If so, you can sidestep the harmful chemicals such as cortisol in the brain by acting opposite of the one problem that put you in the rut. Your brain then will help you through sending serotonin chemicals, or the chemicals for well-being, that open your brain to increase IQ for innovative or novel results. It's a little bit like gazing into the windshield and merely glancing into the rearview mirror. You know what it would be like to drive if you were gazing into the rearview mirror and merely glancing into the windshield, and yet that's often how we retreat the brain power that's locked into basal ganglia. Rather than use the windshield or the working memory, 